All right guys, so we have the outlet wired to the container. So what we did is tapped in power to the shed through there and that's our circuit breaker. So we can isolate power. So we run the um, six mil cable all the way up and around the top beam there over um, and down the shed wall. Um, and I'll show you guys out to that outlet. So inside we haven't got the power turned on yet, but we run in power points around. I'm actually gonna add another couple around here, but that can be later on. So I've run those around. Um, as you guys saw, I bolted those to the wall and silicon. So they're nice and solid, and they're not going anywhere. Now I've P-clipped these over. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually take these back out and just add bolts, but I'll do that later um, and seal all those up. So we've run the power points down here. Now this is one 15 amp power point, so we can weld. So we'll be able to plug our welder in and we're just gonna have a dry space to be able to weld in and build projects. So I just cannot wait for that, guys. What we're gonna do is actually add another one of these all the way down the end. Um, and my welder actually may be able to have a gantry at the top so you can pull it along So I may not even need this 15 amp at the front, but it's there for now So there's our switch. So our switch will turn on our lights. So that'll go up the top and around um, That's our switchboard there. I'll get my brother-in-law to explain all about that after and these tech screws I'm going to replace those with bolts later on But we just wanted to get this thing together so that I knew where to bolt it all later on All right, so what do we got here? We got a two pole 20 amp main switch here. Yep. One pole for each phase. You got your 20 amp combo here protecting your 15 amp outlet on one phase. Yep. And you got your power circuit and your light circuit on the other phase to share the load yep. between so, the two phases. So if we ever tripped out that 15 amp, we, we wouldn't lose um, lights or anything. We'd still have that. You'll just yep. trip out that circuit yep. there. And we're completely isolated from the other shed. So anything happens in here, stays in here. Yep, correct. Um, yep, awesome. Did forget to mention that we actually earthed the whole container through that little bolt there. So we ground off the paint, mounted that up, um, so that just protects everything. And now it's painted both sides with a bit of zinc spray. So yeah, that's all, all finished, guys. It's bloody unreal. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna wrap that one up here. So we've got all the 240 volt wiring done. Huge shout out to my brother-in-law. Thank you for helping. We smashed it all out today and it's all finished. So in the next video, I'll be wrapping up this complete container build. Um, so I'll be welding up that steel bench in the back there. So I'll be putting a nice steel top on it. Uh, might even wrap it around just the back there. Be able to put a drill press. And we'll be able to put the MIG welder down there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a bench grinder as well. So we'll be setting this thing up as a full workshop, operational workshop. Um, but yeah, the next thing I really want to get stuck into, as I haven't worked on in a couple of months, is that golf cart behind me there. So I'm actually going to drop a 440cc in there and even maybe thinking about supercharging it too. So let me know what you guys reckon down below, or if you reckon there's a dirt bike or road bike motor we could do. But I definitely want to supercharge it just to be something different. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if you guys haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. But I'm really wrapped with how this has come out, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Look how tidy that is. It's just neatened this whole thing up, having this completely wired in. Now, I will be adding a ramp in the next video too. So we've got a nice gravel ramp there so we can just drive up and um, not have to worry about lifting projects in. But yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment down below that you've subscribed and I'll comment back. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'll see you guys in the next one.